Hello, everybody. I'm just going to mute the video real quick and dump all these clothes out on the table. Mute microphone. Kerplunk. Okay. So all the stuff is still in the bags. I just poured out one bag that I have. Let me get this chat open. I would like to get this over with quick and fast. I spent $43.30. I should have put some chapstick on. <sighs> FML. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, everybody. Thrifty Christy, Bobby Loves Coupon, Flippin' Hustla. There's Pickers. <laughs> Y'all are quick. Y'all make me feel so special. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, I spent $43.30. I kind of regret it. I don't know. Just feel like I need something new, right? Let me see. Pop out the chat. Can't see myself to see what I'm showing you if I'm in the screen. Thrifty Christy. You're creative, Thrifty Christy. She's all texting me pictures of like where you um, cut up shorts, you know, and resell them like the mom shorts. Okay. I don't know what she was showing me, all kinds of stuff. I was like, whoa, I could never do that. Some really cool braided cut up shirts too. They looked really cool. Okay, so we got 22.50 pounds of hard line, hard goods. It says hard line. Um, 75 cents a pound. So I spent $16.88 on some hard goods. And I think it's this tub I have right here. And actually, it has a smog, smog, smoke machine. What is it called? Can't think of the word. Um, I did plug it in outside. It had to heat up for a little bit. Push the button. It puffed out some smoke and then nothing else. So I think it needs to be repaired. Um, we're going to go through the clothes first. So backtrack, 22.50 pounds of hard goods at 75 cents a pound, so $16.88. This is at the pound store, FYI. Fog machine, thank you. Uh, textile clothes, 2.65 pounds. Okay, 2.65 pound of clothes at a dollar a pound, so that's 265. Then I got two pairs of shoes. And then we got some more hard lines. So 1.10 pound of hard goods, which is 83 cents I paid for something, no clue. Then another hard good at 23 cents. Oh, that must be Ryland's toy guns. So there was two toy guns that are not gonna be in the video because they're already lost. Um, and then the last thing is probably this bag I dumped out on the table. 14.30 pounds of clothes, which is textile at a dollar. So my total, grand total, $43.30. No, I did not round it up this time, I guess. Oh, and guess what? It's Saturday. That's when the jewelry bags come out at my Goodwill. That's kind of a secret. I don't really want to share that with you. But I'm disappointed that at around... Oh, let's see, 9 or 10 o'clock, I decide to call. No, it's probably 10 or 11. It's actually more like 12, actually. I'm lying. 12 o'clock, I realize, ding, it's Saturday. Today's when the jewelry bags come out. So instead of getting in my car and going up there and driving to go get them, I called, and they said they already sold them. So I'm super sad we're not going to have any jewelry bags this week. <laughs> so sad, so sad. Okay, let's get into the clothes. Because the hubby just got off work and apparently he'll be pulling up any minute. So I found this really cool decked out long. Um, it's really long. Probably somebody that's tall or it will have to be hemmed. 
Jaina, yard sale lover, can do that. Um, Adriana Papel, that's like a Dillard's brand in my town. Um, I figured, what the heck, it, I don't see that it's damaged really, so I went ahead and picked it up. My mom seems to be getting better at listing dresses, so she'll probably list to that. She likes to list stuff really high and just let it sit in her Poshmark closet. <clears throat> um, well, this was really nice. I always love finding soft surroundings, and I really basically learned this brand from all the YouTubers, as well as doing my own research. This brand always sells you guys. Never pass it up unless it's dirty and stained. Um, I love that it's got the cute pockets. That's a score. To my amazement, is that the word? Um, I figured this sucker would have a stain somewhere on it, right? I don't see nothing. It's, um, maybe been worn one time. It's pretty nice. <sighs> Can I stop by? Yes, in about 20 minutes. I'm doing a video, my family. Um, so this is probably, I think, Target, but I love the checkered plaid. It's so preppy, right? Especially this white. Uh, it's actually H&M. Okay. It's a U.S. size 10, so really nice size. So again, I pay a dollar for all my clothes. Most of it all goes up on a Poshmark. I literally have so many clothes listed. Um, we do have two closets because my mom has one that she lists for me, makes 50-50 on a, any of her sales. Um, but I really should hire somebody to cross post for me or something, right? Since I'm too lazy. Or maybe just do it one day. Like sit down and cross post to eBay. I've got um, two to three tubs full of $2 shoes. You do the math. There's probably over 30 pairs of shoes in each tub times two dollars that's a lot of money just sitting there and they're not selling on um, Poshmark so I really feel like I should cross post them so if you're not cross posting it and you're complaining about sales maybe you should cross post it like I don't do um, no clue what brand this is you guys but as you can see it's the most adorable beautiful flower a little girl's dress and when I touch it it feels like a very expensive cotton linen or something. So when I was at the store, I never found the tag um, at all. And I'm looking now, I see one tag that's cut off. So, okay, 7, 8, youth. Luckily, I have a size. I have no brand, which doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's size 7 to 8, youth. How old's your daughter, Flippin' Hustler? She's, uh, the, there, I have like a scarf hanging and it blew up and I thought like my kid was hiding underneath something because it blew up like a, you know, like a sheet or something because the fan's on. Um, but look, check it out. As soon as you look at the uh, washed out light, it says 100% linen. My mom, you guys, I've mentioned this maybe once before, but when I first started training her as a reseller, she thought linen was a cheap fabric, but it's actually not. It's more for people who have like allergic reactions to spandex or latex or any of that, 100% linen. There are people that are like super big freaks out there and they own oh, super big freaks. I know, but like they're weird. Like they only wear linen um, and they won't wear cheap fabric. Maybe they think it has chemicals in it and stuff like that. Whatever. Regardless, you get my point, right? Um, Another piece. I kind of, this is a really cheap brand, Rue 21. Um. Is that really 60% cotton? That's nice. This store actually closed down, I believe, in my local town like years ago. So maybe they got this offline, but it's really cute and I would actually wear it. So I actually kind of got it for myself slash would you list this? Like it really doesn't have to be listed. I kind of like it for myself. So I'm going to keep it. 
They do have cute stuff, but it's usually really cheap. But that is like a thicker, good quality fabric. I had no idea it would say 60% cotton. I thought it'd be like all polyester. To me, polyester is cheap. Like my mom thought linen was cheap. Polyester is cheap. Linen is like gold to me. So that's just my opinion though. Um, so this is a really heavy jacket, but it's, it's really popular. It's kind of like those army... And you, honestly, I don't know the real word to describe this. Nobody's 100% perfect, right? Um, so I don't even know what you call this kind of coat. But it's got the hood built in here. I didn't even roll it out. I can just feel that it's bulky. Might have some money hiding in there. You never know. Um, joking. But it's Calvin Klein. And obviously, it's summer. So they're donating either Goodwill or someone out of their closet donated this. Well, that's fancy. The sleeves seem like they zip off too, do they? Or open up? No, those are pockets. New York City. Ah, some of the Calvin Klein is worn off. Um, but I'm still still going to sell that for sure. Okay, we got to switch piles. Okay, I got a pile over here, pile over there. Oh, wow. Um, vintage stuff. So these 90s like sleep like gowns, you guys may pass uh, pass these up, but at like garage sales and estate sales. But some of these can sell in a, like for $100 even used. So this is a vintage, really cheap polyester. I can already tell. It's like totally made in China. Um, has a... Oh, it's nylon tricot. It's kind of cheap too. Vintage tag, but I have the matching um, piece, and it has a sh glass bead hanging from it. I don't know what brand it is. Let me see. I mean, not all of them sell for a hundred dollars, but some of them can sell really well. Some of them just okay. So it's got the. Um, Hell, I don't know what you call it, um, robe to go over it, and it's sheer. Um, I think I would also call this like chiffon-like kind of because you can see through it. I always put like because I don't know how to how you can tell 100% if it's chiffon, right? Um, I think I saw a tiny flaw either on this piece or the robe. I can't remember, but look, it's cute lace. Um, Michelle Volkman went to grads, went to, oh, garage sales today? Okay, gotcha. I thought you said like you went to a graduation or something. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the brand Rogers, I guess. So, just keep throwing them back where they were, right, Heather? <clears throat> I found this piece, you guys, and it was underneath like a box and hard goods and stuff. And I thought surely it's going to be all stained and um, damaged, but <clears throat> it's actually not. When you touch it, you feel that it's a hundred, like a hundred percent cotton. Look at the trim, so pretty. This is like vintage look, but it's newer, right? All cotton, white. It's not yellow. It's beautiful, right? could wear this underneath of a dress or something. Um, this could be hard to sell because it has no tags, um, but I have so many garage sales, so I always pick up cute stuff and I always flip it for a couple dollars. Um, there are no tags, but I went ahead and got it because it feels 100% cotton. Obviously, we're going to always find a lot of summer or winter stuff because people get rid of a lot of stuff in the summer and clean out their closets. So I picked up for a dollar a pound this really lightweight, thin sweater-like um, Lauren jeans, Ralph Lauren. And I actually really like this. I would actually pimp it myself, right? Look at that. It's got these cool zippers for the, the love handles, right? Underdress slip. Yes, it definitely is an underdress slip because it's really um, see-through. 
So like, don't get your shirt wet. Um, so <laughs> I, every time I do holes, I'm like, yep, this is for me. Well, I totally found these cool, like blue jean denim, whatever you want to call it. I use all those words. Um, shorts and they're called wallflower, which is a junior's brand, I believe. And I'm like, hmm, I can resell these, but oh my gosh, they're so my size. Maybe, maybe they'll too, be too big on me. Cause I think they're, yeah, they're an extra large. Your girl wears a large, but luckily I'm maybe thinning out to not be an extra large anymore. Right. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Rylan? Can you read something for me? Mm, on your video game? No, but your daddy will be here in a minute. In a minute, okay? All right. Um, I found a scarf, and I only got it because it's 100% silk. For some reason, I always pick them up. I feel like I'll bundle a bunch together one day. And sell them in bulk, but they never make it to the internet because um, I always sell them in a garage sale. Like this weighs nothing, and I pay a dollar a pound. It's like air, right? So then I just flip them um, all the time, um, unless they're a name brand. So this one's vintage. You can tell by the old rinky dink tag, and it's embroidered on the other side. This is vintage wall flower that brand fits nice yeah it looks nice it's nice and stretchy it's gonna fit my big hips um ll bean so i don't pick this up too often but i like that it was a kind of like that grandpa preppy look it's 100 percent lamb's wool Trying to figure out what size this is, medium to regular. I don't know what this funky tag is. Oh, well, big whatever. Yeah. I have no idea why I picked this up. I would totally wear it. I don't really think I need clothes for the winter. Um, I feel like I have more clothes for winter than I do summer. You'd rock that. Oh, yeah, the sweater, right? It's cute. I don't know. I don't even know if it's a women's or men's, but it looks like a men's, huh? Oh. Oh. Um, this is Premise. I'm not too familiar with it, but it feels high quality, you guys. It's definitely not cheap. I like that it's like kind of uh, psychedelic y, kind of trippy looking. So it's kind of like hippie boho. I would probably put those words in there, kind of. Remember, I always forget to use the word peasant and maybe one or two other words. Y'all let me know when you see peasant because I, I never understand that. Like. <laughs> Kristen. Um, here's Mila, Mela, Mila, and then it says London. It's a European brand. Um, it's just a dress. Again, I pay a dollar a pound for my clothes. Um, but I would wear this too, but I'm not keeping it. It feels kind of silky. You're here. I just saw your message. Which side does it button on? See, I always forget. I always forget. I think my mom does too. They're on the left. So that means it's, let me see. Which is it? Looks beaded from here. Oh yeah, it's not. The blue dress, it's not. It feels silky though. It's really nice and soft. I don't know what the fabric is. And since it said London, I was like, well, it's kind of like a, um, keep away from fire, yeah, because it's cheap polyester, it feels like, too. Polyester, yeah. I don't know, I'm not familiar with this brand, but I love the blue and the patterns in it, too. You did make it, Kristen! 
Shush. You mean the white dress? The white dress is for sale. <laughs> uh, so which is it, Flippin' Hustler? Man or woman? It's on this left, which is my left hand. You did, you did. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, totally like a man button, right? Sure. Oreo Kid does so on eBay. I'll go subscribe to his channel. If you can handle kids. He's got kids. Oh. <clears throat> okay, let's hurry. Again, we spent $43. Thank you for closing the door, Dad. Okay, so I did have to take Rylan, my five-year-old, with me. And, oh, my gosh, he bought those two little toy guns that I guess we paid 32 cents for. 23 cents, so that's cool. Um, he wanted this. It was broke, and I really got it for him, even though it was broke, because it's beautiful, right? It's a music box. You're welcome, Mario. And it... It wasn't broken, so of course I'm going to get get my kid a music box, right? It's like a little school. And I probably winded that too much. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to go off in the whole movie. Hey, dear, my guy. Um, Sam Edelman. Edelman, however you want to say it. $2 I paid for those. We're going to have to go throw that music box somewhere, right? So I got these for $2. Super cute. I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not. They're actually half a size too big for me. The other shoes. Be quiet. Men's buttons go on the right. So you're saying that's women's? The L.L. Bean? Confirm. Confirm with me, Flippin. Let's go put this music box out here to Rylan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sh shoot it. Are you telling me it's a girl sweater flipping? Men's button go on the right. I don't know. Is it always right? I mean, it should be right. Okay, so I never heard of these shoes. The Mode Collective. So they have stuffing in them. And they have never been worn, so obviously, clearly, they're made in Spain. Yeah, I'm going to pay $2 for them. So they're brand new, never worn, funky gold tip. Uh, yeah, Google says, but so the buttons are... If the buttons are on the left. Oh, well, okay, I see. The buttons are on the right, but they go... Wait, let me see. So I already forgot. Hello from Manchester, England. I love it. The buttons are on the right. They just go in on the left. If the buttons are on the left, it's a lady. So this is a men's, obviously. Well, I'm from Texas, Sarah. Welcome. I think you've been here a couple times before. You were going by holes. I was too. That's confusing. Oh my gosh. I hate it. Okay, so I can't wait to look up these shoes. Maybe they're not worth anything, but for $2, I figured what the heck. They're a 38, eight. They're kind of funky and got that patent leather look. Look! So that's the two shoes. Okay, what else is in here? And then we can get into hard goods. I have clothes on the floor still. So this is a really thick, uh, it's like a tunic, right? But it has the new tags here. It's a size large. And I'm not familiar with the brand. It says Carol Rose. And it's actually like textured, right? It comes out. Can never think of the word. Can y'all help me think of the word? It's not really showing up. Okay. So I got that. It's long and stretchy. Really stretchy. I couldn't pass this up. Talk about stilettos. Yeah. I couldn't pass this ski jacket up. 
didn't come with the pants. In there? No. I liked that it was like a hot pink, right? It's made in Hong Kong. I kind of see these over a lot, but they're either stained or something. It's not pulling up the real color, you guys, but it's a really pink red um, color. And it's in really good condition. Like they didn't use it very much. So I got that. And I dropped a couple. I'm a mess today, you guys. I know, I know. It's because I can't use my normal workstation because my kids are here. Oh, thanks, Oreo. Okay, what else do we got? I can't even remember. When did we go? I went to the pound store on 612, which was how many days ago? A long time ago. That would have been Tuesday. So yeah, I totally held off on this haul so I could do the green room Q&A. Um, I just didn't want to do any other videos until I finally did that Q&A. So I feel so much better that the Q&A is better or done. So here's a cabbie throw. And what is so cool about this is it covers the butt. I mean, like us girls, we're not done when we walk by a group of guys and you turn around and they're all looking at your butt. Why do you think that this covering your butt came so popular recently because we got tired of it right there's a time and a place and a lot of the times it's not the right place so yeah to be checking out people's butts you know what i mean i love it i love that it covers the butt freaking love it i mean especially if you're like me and you have a big butt. I'm not going into too detail. Like, quit looking at my butt. I have the opposite. I don't worry about people looking up here. It's like when I walk by. Yeah, men's butts. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been too big on that. But yeah, if, I guess if someone's wearing some blue jeans and some cowboy boots, I do look at the butt. But it's typically hard to look at men's butt if they're not wearing cowboy boots and blue jeans that are tight. It's just like, I don't know. Okay, so moving along, if this were my size, I would be keeping it because it's so, you know, right up my real estate alley and just great for the office or clients. It's oversized and bigger. Coldwater Creek, and I'm going to start, stop hating on cool, Coldwater Creek because I've seen some used clothes sell on Poshmark for some crazy money. And this is really classy. So, I picked it up, picked it up. I like that piece. It doesn't fit me though. It's way too big. <clears throat> um, my mom, mom, I picked up these, um, yeah, Mar what are these? I don't even know what these are, but they're skinny jeans. Distressed. And when you put the, okay, skinny jeans, distressed jeans. That's all you need. You don't even need to know the brand, except if it's a high selling dollar brand. So I guess this is a like European or something. I don't know. It says it's made in China. Um, machine Nouvelle mode, uh, size Italy. I don't know. Never heard of it. I'm gonna do the comps and I'll list them. <laughs> Should I start putting cowboy sh shows shoes on now? <laughs> uh, looks like UK. Yeah, I, was, I don't know. I don't want to be wrong. So it's just uh, it's foreign, right? So and they're spandexy. I need these. Love them. I need some stretch. Um. You know, I kind of wanted to throw this piece back, but it is vintage. I never heard of it. It's called David Rose. It's got a rose um, embroidered on it. Obviously, you can see my vintage tags here. These are old and vintage. Um, does it? I think it says, yeah, made in the USA also is a key factor in determining vintage. So it's... I guess like an evening dress. It's lace. Um, I don't know. I couldn't throw it back, you guys, because I didn't see any damages to it. 
and it's black. Like, who doesn't love black? So I got it. Okay. So hard goods is all I have left. I got two books. We read to the kiddo. Oh, Rylan wanted a coloring book. So then I got a book because, yeah, I have two sons that are redheaded and they do get angry. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. So I got a, a fog machine, and I think it needs to be repaired. I don't know. It has the liquid inside of it, and if you didn't know, fog liquid is actually really expensive. I'm not sure how toxic it is. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to YouTube this and see what the common errors are to fix a fog machine. And if not, I may just list it stating it needs repairs on Craigslist. So I got that. And I can tell you on my hard goods, um, I weighed that inside this big tub. And it's showing that I spent, I got 22.50 pounds of hard goods at 75 cents a pound. So my total cost for this whole basket was $16.88 plus tax. Um, so I got this cute little hemp bag. You can never have enough storage, right? If not, I'll just resell it at my garage sale. <laughs> bags, 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 bags. All I hear for bona fide hustler is bags, bags, bags. You got to get the bag something. He does a bag teaching where he'll teach you how to find good bags. Well, I just kept hearing bags, bags, bags. So I started to tell myself, start looking at bags, Heather. So I found this one and I did see that the hook was broke off or what. And honestly, this smells like a baby throat up in this. So it really stinks. Yeah, I could put my kids in here, right? I don't know. I don't know. Is this broke or not? So you know it's a good bag, I can tell you, because it's genuine leather. It's totally vintage. Keep it in the car after the bins. The fog, oh, it was. All this stuff was in my car in the heat since 612. So, yeah. Um, it's got a stain. Unless I probably got the fog stuff spilled on it. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with this. Oh, there's a secret in here. Are you all ready? 20 minutes. I'm going to shoot my stepdad, right? I'm joking. I hid this in there because they don't think they would have sold it. Um, <laughs> I'm in trouble if Goodwill watches my videos. So this bag smells like somebody threw up on it, a, an actual baby. I'm not sure if these oil stains were pretty there. It's not wet. It might be for my fog machine. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So it is, do you want to know the brand? The hemp basket. Oh, okay. I gotcha. No, because I'm a crazy driver and the hemp basket doesn't have a lid, so it'll fly all over my car. True story. Um, where's the brand? I saw it somewhere. I feel like that commercial, hands, hands, hands. I don't know what that commercial is, but when I said bags, bags, bags. Okay, it's somewhere. I just thought it was up here. Oh, okay. There it is. Maybe. F R N O. And then we have Hartman. Hartman luggage. So I did look at the comps on these. Obviously, I have a. I probably ruined it. I honestly don't know. Yeah, if I did that or what. I don't, can't remember. I didn't really inspect it too much. And I'm not sure what chemical is inside the fog machine. So, up next. We're almost done. You ready? Um, this is one of those. Like, it's totally antique. You can tell it's old and vintage. I'm going to pull the trigger. I did. But I shot it at the ground. It, have, it doesn't have the pieces, you guys. It's like one of those has uh, arrows or something. It has, I don't know how to describe. Does anybody know what this is? Go ahead. Tell me. But the guys were like, they're not going to let you take that. And he said the other pieces are behind the register because they took them up. Apparently someone turned in the pieces 
and they didn't find the gun. Well, I found the gun or the dart shooter, whatever it is. Harpoon? Is that what it is? Harpoon. Crossbow. Yes. Thank you. That's what I was thinking, Kristen. So um, the guy was like, yeah, they're not going to let you get that. And I was like, bet. You're the one that gave me that bag with a bong in it. He was like, yeah, but they, they would sell that. And I was like, well, I thought y'all said they wouldn't sell me the bong. Look what I found. Um, oh, yeah, good call, Kristen. Um, I stuck this inside the bag, the clothing bag, and I rolled all of it up, and then I shoved it all in the basket. And when the lines get long, like, they just weigh your stuff. They'll kind of glance at it and make sure you're not throwing, you know, clothes in here that should be weighed with hard goods. I mean, you can get kicked out for that stuff. Um, don't do as I do, right? But, yeah, I'm a rebel. So, yeah, I don't know if this is worth anything, but I figured, what the heck, Heather. My total was 43 bucks, and I got a fog machine and a bunch of clothes, so we're good. Next piece, I did get this Star Wars guy. He, the batteries did work, but they're probably dead now that I left it on. If you guys don't know, don't pass up your Star Wars toys. You should always look them up. There are pieces that go for a lot of money. How come? I mean, I'm going to put new batteries in him. He's super cute. He even has wheels. So I like that. We need to wash him, though. Um, I learned recently you should start picking up your controllers, even if they're missing the backs, like the Wii ones. The game stores will give you cash for these. So I'm going to start collecting these and picking them up. Quick story on this. A lady had found both of these, and she said, I don't want them. And me and another lady raised our hand, so they ended up splitting it and giving one to her and one to me so that they didn't choose favorites. That's how cool my pound store is. Like, you have to have respect at my pound store or they'll they'll talk trash to you. Or if you do wrong stuff, you'll get kicked out, too. So, anyways, I got a remote. Some of these are good. I can't remember if it's, like, the newer ones or the older ones that you get more money for. Just do your research. Again, don't always do as I do, just some of it. No clue what the heck this is. I don't know why I got this. But he seemed pretty fancy. Um, I went ahead and got him. I never seen him. Um, I have made most of my money on toys on YouTube. For one, oh, I did have the. Oh my gosh, I did have that um, fog machine leak in this basket, you guys. So that's why my clothing basket. I'm learning. Sorry, bona fide. I ruined the bag. Our clothes and hard goods are the same price at the bins, a dollar a nine to pound books, and I think are 50 cents. Yeah, mine aren't like that. Okay. So we're basically done with the video because I have two things to show you. Yeah, oh crap. Um, I think I did it. And I know that because there's this weird leather piece in here that is half soaked with a fluid. It has no odor. The only thing I'm worried about is that I'm touching chemicals. So, okay. So when a new row came out, I found a cardboard box full of vintage um, ribbon. So a lot of these are all, yeah. F U C K. Look what I did. You get chemical all over my product. <laughs> I'm the wild, yeah, I'm the wild one. I'm lucky I haven't got kicked out yet, right? So yeah, I totally ruined half of my product here. Um, I have a lot of vintage ribbon here. So I looked at the comps. What are these? I didn't even know I got them. They're like real leather. Yeah, it stinks, but they don't stink, luckily. I mean, not all of it got damaged. Like, here's some white ribbon. It's not touched at all. Um, but some of it is. So if you go look at these ribbon thingies, some of them can sell for really good money. So I started to stop this... 
you know, uh, like judging and saying, oh, well, this is old vintage crap. It's probably not worth anything, but it's not true. It, it really is. There is all full of bundles or spindles or whatever you want to call it of all different kinds. Yeah, it didn't spill too bad. Just a little bit. Brand new ribbons and stuff like that. Again, what's great about these is most of these are like 100% cotton. It's also before the time when they started using chemicals in the fields and stuff. So some people are really looking out for these also. Make ribbon roses. I don't know how to do that. Last product in here that I'm going to show you that I got. Um, I'll have to fish them all out because I kind of have already, I just threw them in here to weigh hard goods. Um, these are vintage blocks and you guys have never found these before. It's funny because there were these and then there was another set that were newer and they don't look the same, but these ones are the older vintage ones. So these go for a lot more money. I don't think I have the whole set, but I'm still going to bundle. I'm still going to list them all together. And I thought it was really cool. Maybe someone has the other pieces that I don't, and someone can buy mine and combine them and reflip them, right? So these were a score. I did look up comps on letter blocks that were vintage, and it's worth it. Go check them out. That's it. Um, my littlest pet shop toys. <laughs> and I'm sad I only found one, but literally I was – head deep in a five foot box once and fished out a million and one or a million and two little tiny pieces. Um, I did a YouTube video on it. They have over a million views with little kids commenting on them. So that's how I get paid on YouTube mostly. So I'm collecting these and I have a tiny bag and I'm not ready to sell them yet. So, um, Oh, this one and the brown one. This dog is a rare one, actually. I think. The brown dog that's a weenie dog, the kids love these. They cry over these. So they're very popular. And we'll go see what this guy is later. So that's it for the whole $43 later. Um, did I get worth my money? I think so. We'll see what this bad boy goes for. This one's unique itself, so it's pretty cool. You think I have a ton of those somewhere? Have you not heard me talk about those flipping Hustler? Like, oh my gosh, go look at my Littlest Pet Shop videos too. Um, you'll see the kids commenting which ones they want, which ones are the most valuable, um, and they are literally crying. They're like begging me for these toys. So, yeah, collect these and find the most valuable ones. So, yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great weekend and happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Bye.